Hello, and day six of World Cup is here, and it's match day two now. This is where it really gets down to crunch time. We're down, obviously, we start with Group A and Group B. We start again from the top and work our way down to the bottom. Four games on today. It is Wales versus Iran, Qatar versus Senegal, Netherlands versus Ecuador, and England versus United States. We start with the Group B game between Wales and Iran. The match was played at the Ahmed bin Ali Stadium in the city of Al Rayyan, and the final score: Wales nil, Iran two. Shocking results. The goals were scored by Ruzbeir Chesmi, I think that's how his name, and Ramin Rezanayan, I think. So with that win, that definitely puts Iran on course to actually qualify for last 16 now. Yes, I know Iran were lucky. They scored in 11 minutes of injury time. And we had the first red card of the tournament when Wales' Wayne Hennessy was sent off after a VAR check. So he'll be suspended for their final game against England. Also, that definitely leaves Wales on one point and Iran are now on three. So... Quite tight, the Wales have to play England last game, Iran plays the US. That's tight. But anyway, moving on to the next game, and that's in Group A, it is the host nation Qatar taking on Senegal. The match was played at the Al Thumama Stadium in the capital city of Doha. Final score, Qatar 1, they scored their first goal, Senegal 3. Good win for the Lions, this goals were scored by Mohamed Muntari of Qatar. Senegal's was Boulay Dia, Famara Diju of Bristol City, formerly, and Bamba Dieng. So that defeat for Qatar means we have our first elimination of the World Cup, and it goes to the host nation, Qatar. Now that is one way to make a bad impression. You're first out at your own tournament. Not even South Africa could do that. But anyway, Senegal's win, that gets them back on track like I said they would. Now they have to beat Ecuador in their final game to stand any chance of going through. Qatar are going to get smashed off Netherlands, but then again are they? Because they've got nothing to lose now, they're already out. Anyway, now we move on to the final game in Group A, and that is Netherlands taking on Ecuador. Winner take all. The match was played at the Khalifa International Stadium, once again in Al Rayyan. Final score, Netherlands 1, Ecuador 1. Cody Gakpo scored for Netherlands once again, and Enna Valencia did again for Ecuador. Three go so that draw puts Netherlands and Ecuador both on 4 points, Senegal are now on 3, and Qatar are out of the tournament anyway, like I mentioned before, with zilch points. Netherlands have to play Canada, I mean, Qatar, final, <laughs> final game, you know, yeah, and they'll get three points there, so that would be seven, while Ecuador and Senegal play each other. Now, if Enna Valencia is unfit because he came off a bit injured in the final few minutes, then Ecuador, if I was Ecuador and I saw Valencia go off, I'd have just said, right, let's get these three points and be safe. But anyway, time for the main event, England. Versus United States. The match was played at the Al Bayat Stadium in the port town of Al Khor. Final score England nil, United States nil. <sighs> Piss poor performance from England. Now we have to go all out against Wales if we want to progress to last 16. United States are now on two points, Iran on three, Wales one, England four. How did we not win that game? Absolutely shocking. How can you go from beating Iran 6-2-1 on Monday to drawing 0-0 with the United States today? We're not going to win the World Cup. I knew that before the tournament even kicked off. This crest here, one star... That's the only star we'll have. And none of us were alive the last time we won the World Cup. Well, at least 85, 90% of us weren't. Anyway, to get over that misery and grief of that poor performance, day seven, exactly a week of the World Cup, will be tomorrow. And that will continue with match day two, obviously. Group C and D.
So, I'll see you then. Please like, subscribe, turn on notifications to never miss anything. Follow me on social media, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. All links are in the description down below. And also, if you haven't seen my Day 5 review, please, that link will be also in the description. Check that out as well, please. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. England is shit. Thank you for watching.